Your Properties tab is the most important tab in the system. It's where you manage all of your listings. You manage the content, you add properties, you edit properties from here, you can add media, you buy property add-ons like signs, unique domain names, water bottle labels. And the first thing you'll see on your Properties tab is the date, and this is the date that you put the property in. Then you see the address, and then you see a horse and rider. If you mouse over the horse and rider, you'll see what a sample sign rider would look like. There's the web URL, and then you also see your, your mobile text code. Then you have the status. This tells you the status of your website. Then you have the buy icon, which is where you buy property add-ons like the unique domain names and the signs and the water bottle labels. Your view eyeballs, which is how you view what your property website would look like. The Mobi icon, which shows you your text code. As you can see, the number on the icon is your text code for that property, and each property is assigned a unique text code when it's made. There's also the edit icon, which is at where you edit all your property information. The media icon, where you can add pictures, edit your virtual tour, add high def panos. Uh, you could also add video and flash. This is the strength meter. This is where you can see how strong your website is and things you could add to make it an even better website. Your feedback icon, the hits icon to see how many hits you've had on your website, the tools icon, and then the delete icon. This is how you would delete your property. And remember, delete is forever. So this is where you would go if you want to delete or reuse uh, a property. Other things you see on your properties tab are things like the CL poster. From here, you can post all your properties to Craigslist. You also have the broadcast tab, which is where you can create a broadcast my move. You also have the options tab, which is where you can set options for your properties globally. This would change all of these options for all of your properties. Then you have the widgets tab. So back to the properties tab. Also on the Properties tab, you see the Add New button. This is where you would click to add a new property. You have Refresh to update all of your information. You'll also see a question mark over here, which is where you can get help for this page. And you also have the main Get Help button up here, which is where you can search Frequently Asked Questions, search the User's Guide, and you can also get to the forums from here.